called this gathering the art of allowing for a long time and the reason we do is because we want you to understand that what allowing really is is no longer doing that thing that holds you out of the vortex in other words allowing allowing really implies we want you to hear this fully the vortex will take you in unless you're doing something that doesn't allow that so the art of allowing is the art of letting go enough that the vortex will take you in but what it really requires is knowing what being in the vortex feels like and deliberately practicing that vibration earlier we said if you're watching CNN or one of the news channels and you're watching it through the evening and and you're seeing a, a repeat of what's going wrong in the world and you're staying tuned to it long enough it will tune you, it you are then allowing your vibration to be tuned to a lower frequency you're practicing the lower frequency vibration if you will allow the vort yourself to be in the vortex the vortex will tune you here's a better way of saying it the vortex will train it will train your vibration upwards so every moment that you spend there especially every conscious moment every moment that you are feeling some relief from negative emotion every moment that you are feeling an improved emotion is you allowing the vortex to train your frequency upward so we've been talking about this vortex which is summoning you and if you're in despair it's summoning you but the little bit that the little bit of vortex gravitational pull that it has on you might only bring you to revenge but it's still calling you and if you don't dig in in revenge it will call you into anger and if you don't dig in in anger it will call you into hope and by the time it has called you to hope the vortex will take you in so what we're suggesting to you because you're as we feel you here in this room your normal vibration is not one of despair or revenge or anger you vacillate for the most part between overwhelmment and frustration and hope and into joy in other words that's about where you are most of the time with an occasional dip into something darker but usually <laughs> you're somewhere in the vicinity of that which means your vortex can take you in if you will allow it so how might you allow it well the first thing is notice when you're in and try to milk it in other words when you find yourself in the vortex be as general in your thinking as you can be because the more general you are the less resistant you will be when you really think about it when you ponder those deepest darkest moments that you've ever been in don't go there but just theoretic theoretically follow us here you have become really specifically almost obsessively focused upon something that just took you further and further and further from who you are isn't that right in other words you got so specific you remembered what he said you remember what she said you remember what he did you remember what they did you remember where you were you remember what you were eating you remember what you were playing you remember what song was playing on the radio in other words you're specific and you're specifically resistant to who you are so the first really helpful rule of thumb to get in the vortex is when you find yourself feeling negative emotion of any kind no matter how negative it is say to yourself go general go general go general for example if if something is not going well at your place of employment or in your work and you're thinking about the specifics of it and you've got yourself all in a knot and it feels like no one's cooperating and it's not going well say to yourself go general and step back from it and say to yourself something like well at least I have a job now that might fling you right off into the bushes but or or say something like uh, this too shall pass or say something like all in all things are going pretty well in other words the more general you can become the more ease you will feel right now because we promise you and this is the point that we want to get across to you like you've never heard it before you are not ever going to wrestle your problem or your problem maker to the ground and make them stop it defies all law you're not going to do it the more you focus on the problem the bigger it's going to be but even more important the more stuck to it you are going to be 
So you got to go general and you're going to discover as you go general that as you get general, as you get general, as you get general, very general. Oh, the sun came up this morning. That's such a good thing. And, and I'm still breathing. That's a wonderful thing. Now we know you think that's silly because it's so general and off the point you're trying to make. But if you will stop trying to make the point you're trying to make, the vortex will take you back in. Now, this is the wonderful thing about the vortex. The vortex knows everything you specifically want about all the things you specifically don't want. In other words, all the specifics are in the vortex. You just can't get to the specifics of them when you're tied to the specifics of their opposite. Does that make sense? So by going general, by going general, by clearing your mind, by, by breathing deeply, by focusing on something else, by going general, the vortex will take you in. And as you do it again and again, and you allow the vortex to take you in, the vortex will train, it is our promise to you, your frequency upward to match the frequency of all of those specifics that you have already incrementally been putting into your vortex, sometimes over a long period of time. Sometimes the stuff you just put there yesterday or 10 minutes ago. And as you allow your frequency to raise, the specifics of that vortex will begin to reveal themselves to you. It will feel to you that you've turned around on a dime. It will feel to you that the negative veil has lifted and that now all that has been promised is coming. But what really will have happened is you will have let go of the specifics that have been holding you out, allowed the general to take you in. And with practice, you will allow the vortex to train you into the frequency of all that you are, of all that you want, of all that you deserve, of all that's there for you. And those who know you, who are watching you will say, what is this transformation? You seem to feel so good. And you will reply, I do. And they will say, and you seem to be getting everything you want. No matter, no wonder you feel so good. And you will say, no, I felt good. And then the things came. I'm not feeling good in response to the things coming. That was the flawed premise that I was going on for so many years. I thought I'd wait for my luck to turn and then I'd have a celebratory party. Now I understand I have to have the celebration first and then my luck turns. So we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. We're going to talk today a bit about the new meditation CD because it is our promise to you that by focusing in the way that it is presented, you will release resistance and allow the fine tuning of your frequency for the full receiving of whatever it is that you are wanting. So you've come with some things you want to talk about. Yes. It's going to be a very good day. Worry not if you are not chosen to sit in the seat. Someone will ask your question. Begin here. Further over. Stand if you think it's you. you. Wait. You are the one. Yes. Just start walking and we'll fling 